All right, ready or not? Let me try to. I'm trying to change cameras here. Okay, so I had a, I had a couple of people watching me last time, so we'll try this again. And I don't have time to sit down and edit videos, so uh, here's what we're working on: is a '95 uh, Toyota Camry. I did the timing belt and the cam seal and the crankshaft seal and it's still uh, dumping oil out and I can identify that it's leaking down from inside the timing belt cover and unfortunately I think it's the oil pump seal so I'm gonna have to take the belt off again so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, as well as possible I do have my tripod and my equipment so might have a better angle I don't know how this will work out we're still practicing so here's what I'm looking at This is leaking there, and you can see that it's leaking from behind and inside the timing belt cover here, and it's pouring out right down there while it's running. Uh, so you can even see a couple of drops on the ground there, maybe right there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't think it's the uh, oil pan gasket because it's coming from above that, and unfortunately inside the timing belt cover, so we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this thing again and see what's going on. Anyway, not much to learn from this, just uh, follow along kind of thing. So here we go. So first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to have to get this bracket back out of the way, so start getting this coolant reservoir out of here. Just tuck that off to the side. And probably have to pull the alternator out again. Just make sure we have some working space. Here, I'll probably get you, you over here a little bit better. Might be a better angle for the moment. So, this alternator is definitely not difficult to remove. And I'm actually going to remove the uh, terminal on the battery. I usually don't, but. Murphy's Law, if something can go wrong, it probably will. Especially when you're live, right? So. Get this wiring harness up out of the way. Mark those parts up there. Let's see. Uh, need 12 millimeter. Belt out of the way. And a 14 for the bolt that holds that alternator in.
like it's going to be a nice day today. I was hoping to avoid the rain. Okay. Put that guy up there. This one's got to come out. Well, in all fairness, I did just say if something could go wrong, it probably will. Oh, did something go wrong? Oh, I'm dropping. I'm dropping tools. I just I had a 14 millimeter socket, short. I think you left out the DeLorean. I've already misplaced it because I just had it. You left it the DeLorean. The DeLorean? Yeah, it's back in 1955. I'll have to go back and get it. <laughs> <laughs> So I know, well, that sucks because I just had. You have product cool. placement, but you're not taking advantage of it. What? What? The drink. If you turn the label, oh, you might I'm get. Oh, I'm not gonna. If you turn the label, you might get a sponsor. <laughs> Let's see. Check the film. Yeah, where I put my socket. Yeah. <laughs> God, you had 81, 81 uh, viewers on that yesterday. That's pretty good. Okay, I found it. There. 81 views on 81 view. Okay, this is for the this is for the motor mount. Yeah, 81 views yesterday. Uh, I'll put it way over here. Yeah, I'm the 81 only one views on that. Right that was. I shared that, it out. So was, I appreciate that. Yes, everybody, share it with your friends. Could get interesting. Now these ones down here, you just can't get to. So I took the liberty of putting a jack stand underneath the car first, and now I can jack up the engine. But there's a front motor mount here, 17 mil. I'm gonna have to remove the bolt out of that so that the motor can come up enough for me to get my socket down in here. So, one more second. So have you made one with a hundred dollar? Yep. Oh, losing my mind already. It's last. It's where I put it last. Did I make? A, I made videos on the hundred dollar kit. I thought you did. Are you still alive, man? No, I just showed. I just showed a few videos that you could do with a hundred dollar, a uh, hundred dollar tool setup. Bring your tablet over here. We'll show everybody. So bring your tablet over here. Oh, I can do that. And go to my chat. Go to my channel, and then you can show. That's the motor mount one. Okay. Okay, now I can jack the sucker up. Look at the tablet stand. Huh? Not really. <laughs> That's not safe. No, I know. I was kidding. I said it's a tablet stand. If you look on the videos, it says $100 on the thumbnail. Oh. I thought I saw him. Well, oh yeah, I saw that one. I need a higher piece of wood. Okay. 
I like the flames of death. Me ranting about brakes? Yeah. Oh, the fluff is kind of going away. The what? The fluff. What fluff? In my brakes. It's going away a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was weird, though, when, when I first started. Okay, so now I can get to these ones here. Can you see that? See what? Right. I'm pointing at it right here. Uh, You'll see it in about a minute. Oh, that's right. Delay time. You almost might want a light. Really? Maybe. I don't know, here a little. And then maybe zoom down a little bit. Here's here you can look at this. That light doesn't help much. No, you want me to zoom in? I don't know what do you think. There you go. Can you hear me now? Huh? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can I hear you? Well, yeah, it'll be a delay. I'll hear you in about 30 seconds. All right, so seconds. now I need a box wrench. That actually helped a little bit. Well, it's because the, the camera doesn't have any white light or any white backgrounds to really? fade off of. So if it's zoomed in, yeah, dark areas. climate, you're going to say that? What? What? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you know this what this guy over here trying to get my channel canceled. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can say whatever you want. I like the blue filter. Co controversial topic matter might actually make this go viral. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said yesterday. <laughs> Just throw out a couple of things and... I know you came here to watch me work on a car, but let's talk politics! Yeah, you'll end up being, you'll end up being on CNN. Uh, Look at this guy. Local mechanic opens his fucking mouth. <laughs> There's only one watcher. You? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, it's early. It's early in the day. Well, Depending here. on what country you're in. Yeah, I know, I just, I just said that. It's hey, here. the other 90 people who watched the other one, they'll catch up to this one later today. Oh, yeah. And I'll appreciate it. Well, here's the good news. Uh oh. So, when, I, when I looked earlier and I saw that you were going to be going live, yeah. it had that thumbnail and it said they had the chat waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit it and it says, uh, remind me. Oh, okay. The notification. So the notifications worked because it, it showed up as a notification for me. It popped up and told you, hey. Yeah, it said, oh, it's live now. Oh, cool. Yeah, good, so good. that's working. That's good. Because uh, that's what I found with a lot of people on YouTube is that they people are getting the notifications. And so that's why I wanted to check that just to make sure that it is going for you. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, those are the people that usually don't get their notifications are probably the truther channels and stuff like that that are controversial. We don't want them to have anybody Well, here. no, and, and I've been watching a couple of those channels, and they complain that their stuff isn't getting promoted at all. And, and you know, they might be... They might be valid with their statements that they're being suppressed. I don't know, but it's, it's just as much as Scotty Kilmer using clickbait that he's going away when he's really not going anywhere. He can't find his keys. <laughs> he can't go anywhere. <laughs> he's been looking for his keys since he lost his ball. Today on Mechanical Triage, I hid Scotty's keys. Now you'll get Scotty coming on. What did you do with my keys? <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, DM me if you're looking for your keys. <laughs> <laughs> or your bug. <laughs> no, he knows that that was in the back of his garage. Yeah, right next to his keys. <laughs> See what happens? It's all live, man. I said, if something can go wrong, it will. You can't jinx yourself like that. Well, it's... 
why I have two jack stands under this car. <laughs> he just dropped it again. Actually, I just got no, it. No, I dropped it 30 seconds ago. I You're know, just catching just, it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, come on, stay with it. Stay with it, man. All right. Did you hang the banner up? What? The banner for the production. Oh, no, we didn't put that. Two-bit production. Two-bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can see the, I can see my cam seal that I put in here, and it's dry. So I honestly wasn't worried about that one, but I'm not inspecting that one. I just needed to take that off so that I could continue down the stream here. Now we're going to have to loosen up the power steering pump, get the power steering pump belt off. And that's down, power steering pump belt is down underneath. So after I'm done dropping stuff, uh, I'll take you down there. Yeah. So we can look at that. And get the cover off and identify where it's leaking from. Probably I'll have to run it for a few minutes while we're watching it. So. We'll see. Let's get this, uh, whatever I can of these timing belt cover bolts off while we're up here. And then we'll move the camera. I wonder if you can get the delay. I'm talking, to, to, my, I'm talking to myself over here. I wonder if you can get the delay, the delay to go the opposite way. So whatever happens in the video that happens to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah at least you'll be here. You can tell me, hey, the car's about to fall on you. You might want to move. <laughs> that would be nice and light, wouldn't it? Avoid accidents. Have a 30 second opportunity. Avoid window. arguments with your wife. <laughs> oh man, I'd be hitting up the... Uh... You'd be watching the video all the time. Okay, she's mad. I'm not going to the house. <laughs> oh no, I'd be down in Vegas, man. You have what? Down in Vegas. Oh, there you go. That roulette wheel. Oh, there you go. There's that your thing, money. That thing rolls less than 30 seconds. It'll drop on a number. I could throw my money on that number right before they throw the ball. Oh, yeah, and their cameras aren't going to catch that. <laughs> Why does he keep? Oh, you're watching my live feed like this. What's he? What's he doing? <laughs> All right, back to the task. I need a 12, some extensions. This one right here. This 12 millimeter right here. This guy. Put all these other ones back. Right here. Uh, I ran out of coffee, so. Oh, there's someone else watching. We're drinking this. And I'd like to say, today's episode is brought to you by Ford Motor Company. Because if they didn't keep breaking down, I wouldn't have money to feed my family. But Thanks, Ford! Uh, that's a Toyota. I don't work on enough Toyotas to feed my family. Oh, okay. All right, so... You're coming with me. You got two people. The other one's probably Matt. No, the other one's probably your wife. <laughs> <laughs> keeping tabs on my wife, keeping tabs on me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do something weird here. I have to adjust the tripod. So bear with me, people. I'm getting dizzy in 30 seconds. Why does it keep? Why does it keep fucking with the camera? I can feel it. I'm getting dizzy in 30 seconds. All right. In 30 seconds, you'll be getting dizzy. Yeah, Alright, so yeah, see? The light is so wonderful. It's in that hole down there. Let me see if I can get this in here. Do you have like a little work light? I have a work light. Well, this doesn't go this doesn't go down far enough. The bolt I'm looking for is right there it is. You can see it. That's the oh, bolt for the power steering yeah. pump and then this belt will come loose. And then I gotta get the pulley. But I think I can actually I can bring the motor down now that I'm not up there working on it. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I've done I've done this before. I know. 
feel like I know what I'm doing. Now, the other person watching could be uh, the owner of the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just signed on to my YouTube channel also. Oh, could be. Yeah. Say hi. <laughs> Don't talk bad about the vehicle when the customer's watching. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I watch it all the time when you say stuff about my car. <laughs> You're standing there when I say stuff about your car. Power steering belt off. Now you can get that lower cover. I need to remove these lower cover bolts here. But yes, I still do need to remove the crankshaft pulley. Um, that looks pretty easy. I think we're just gonna go ahead and do the old school mechanic trick to remove that crankshaft pulley. I, I Loctited it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do the breaker bar and socket thingy there. Let's see, I think there's one over here. Oh, there's one There's one behind it. So I do gotta take the crankshaft pulley off first. So, zoom out here and get this guy set up. I think it's a 17. Okay, so I have that braced against the ground and I'm going to go crank the motor over and see if it breaks loose. up slightly wrong. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think it's broken loose. Oh, we lost whoever it was. It did. That worked. So that broke it loose. Okay, I got two. It's early. Huh? It's early. I know, we had one that dropped off and now another one came back. They might have got kicked off and got back on. So that worked. I, it, prop it up the other way but that's how you usually will get these things off and this guy it just slides off that keyway right there uh, but I'm gonna put some breaker bars in behind it and weasel it off And then 
there's that one 10 millimeter there. So there's a leak? Huh? There's, there's like... That's what, you're, that's what you're trying to figure out? What? what? Where the leak is? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where this oil leak's coming from because I had the timing belt off. I did a new timing belt on it and I replaced what I saw was leaking, which was the cam seal and the crankshaft seal. But it's still leaking just as much as it was. So, into this pan. Yeah, that's on an Astro. <laughs> Could be leaking from behind this cover. I hope it's leaking from that seal because that'll be easier to deal with. So I'm gonna clean this whole area up real quick. Um, I'll probably put this belt back on just to keep that on the pulley. Finger tighten that pulley back on there, and then we can see what starts leaking. So let me start cleaning it. Get a pan under there. Blocking the truth, man. They are. dry for a minute and then I will start it. And put this crankshaft pulley back on. So that belt sprocket on the belt doesn't come loose. Uh, one second. Definitely don't want to have an interference engine belt jump on me. Uh, extension.
Yep. It's leaking from behind that oil pump housing gasket. So. Basically, it's leaking from right here and it's coming down and draining through here. There's nothing coming from anything above there, right in the center of that thing. It's leaking from right there, trailing off down here. There's a bolt right up here and this one here. I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit, clean it up, see if it solves the problem because the other option is to remove this entire oil pump housing, which it spans the whole front of the motor and it sticks here down onto the oil pan and that's a couple hours i hope that we don't have to do that so let's see if just tightening these up would probably make it worse uh we'll see so i'm gonna have to remove that pulley again so that I can get so I get a wrench on that uh, socket on that uh, bolt on that oil pump housing properly. Try that off again. Right. Miguel says it's the first, he thinks it's the first live stream fix scene we're working on a car. The first live stream you've seen working on a car? Awesome. Maybe I have something going here. Trying to be innovative. Hi guys, you, why don't you use battery impact gun? Well. That, That's at Robert Smith yesterday from England. Okay. Um, why don't I use battery impact guns? Now, I do have a drill and I had a, a quarter inch impact gun um, 3 8 impact gun for doing small bolts and stuff like that and it's usually faster although some of the vehicles that I work on um, unfortunately have rusty bolts like Ford Tauruses and such and things like this and I guess you could set it to not break them but I used to work in a couple of shops and I just have bad luck with air impact and maybe battery impact would probably make the job go a little bit faster but uh, I'm still kind of old school and I still like knowing how tight the bolts are by hand. Um, I'll, I'll run an adapter on on my drill when I'm pulling oil pan bolts because there's like 18 to 20 of them. But when I'm pulling out head bolts and you just got to sit there for five minutes trying to take one, you know, five inch bolt out or something, I'll definitely use impact. But for the majority of stuff, I, I don't know. I just feel better doing it by hand. That's a little turn there. It's a little turn there. It's a little turn there. Look at this one up here. And there. Uh, oil seal behind this oil pump sprocket is still dry. Uh, I'm gonna clean that up again, put this back together and run it and see if that helped or if it made it worse. Put 
this back on. Is that a toad on the wet sprocket? A toad, toad the wet sprocket? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd get that. Oh my good golly. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew you'd get that. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I'm kind of a one-man show. I have a, uh, a, a production crew intern over here, but I'm kind of a one-man show. <laughs> intern? Intern. Non-paid intern. That's true. I was actually going to ask you if you'd go get me some coffee. Huh? <laughs> oh, you want me to go get your coffee? What? <laughs> the first sprinkles. thing, when I start, right before I went live, I go... I wonder if I can ask him to go get me some coffee. <laughs> um, what was I? What was I saying? Um, yeah, yeah, I lost my thought. I was talking about why I don't use hand impact tools. All right, so that's dry. Uh, I'll get you in there. You can maybe maybe this will. I'm pretty sure this fucking thing is gonna leak. I'm not gonna be having a great day. So yes, it's grainy. We're zoomed way in. I'll zoom out in a moment. I'm gonna start it up, see what she does. And make sure that's tight. Okay. Please don't leak. You can see all the all the carnage this is creating and all the leaking. Well, I hope this solves it. Ah! Of course not. You see how fast of a leak that is. Holy crap. And it's still coming from behind that cover. Well, you know... So what I was, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, because you know, I'm noticing, it seems like this is doubled up on this model. It seems like this oil pump is completely separate from that front cover, like I had thought. Because I went and researched this before I started, and this whole front cover here, here, come on. This whole front cover, get my finger. This whole front cover goes behind the crankshaft and all the way up here. But it appears that this oil pump on this model is just separate right here. So I think I can go ahead and pull this without spending hours and hours doing it. I'm going to have to pull the belt, but we'll stop it, get moving on that. Wait, read that bottom one. What? It's too long for me to read you. From the gallon. I'd like to hear you since I got battery impact tools rigid and the total ratchet from Riley. It's not as strong as the house can have some bolts and light from Riley. I just thought that way you interact with it. So, yes, I'd like to interact with the people spending the time to pay attention to what I'm doing. Absolutely. And, uh, so, I bought a, I don't know about the 12 volt one, and probably because when I started out, I was just kind of being cheap. Uh, what I did do when I had the truck, yes, if you watch the rest of the channels, I, I operated out of a truck and not the trunk of a Ford Focus. But um, when I operated out of the trunk, I had an inverter. It was only 1,000 watts, so I had like 8.3 amps. So I could run a 7.5 amp uh, vacuum cleaner, a 7.5 amp grinder, a Sawzall, and a impact gun. It was a half inch impact gun from O'Reilly and they suck. They won't even take a lug nut off a car. 
so you're better off getting like a 20 volt um, Bauer drill or something like that, or maybe even a half inch battery powered impact gun is probably built better. Uh, you know, you spend the, the money to buy some decent tools and you know, they'll last you and they're, they're definitely better quality and they'll save you a lot of time. But, I've minimized my tool setup in the meantime until I can get the truck finished. At which time, yeah, see this looks like a nightmare. We're gonna do it though. Uh, at which time I will have air on board. I got a six gallon air compressor for the truck. I'm gonna be putting that on board. She kinda looks like she's leaking from higher up too. You should tell them to check out the videos about your truck. It kind of looks like the whole freaking thing is leaking. Oh, look at that a little closer. But I'll have six gallon air compressor on board and I'll put a three or 4,000 watt inverter so I can run 15 amps. But I'll still have a vacuum cleaner, <coughs> air compressor. Um, the vacuum is for cleaning out intake manifolds. When you're doing intake manifold gaskets and you gotta clean out the valves and stuff so to make sure stuff doesn't go down into the engine. So. Kind of look like she's coming from up higher. I don't know. Is that? Uh, I'm leery about that. I think. Kevin Leary. You know who Kevin Leary is right? Shark Tank. Oh, it's over. Oh, Kevin O'Leary? Yeah, the bald dude. Which one's that? Isn't he Mr. Wonderful? Yeah. What a fucking asshole. He's nasty. <laughs> He's Mr. Nasty Bald. American dream to have a billion dollars and no friends. Anyway, I'm not stalling. Here, I'm... So my original thought here, I didn't bring my laser pointer. I was afraid the O'Reilly employees would chase it like a cat or something. But if you look in the center of this wrench here, so a moment ago, it looked as if though the oil was coming from here, but this was all wet up through here also. And I just want to make sure it's not coming from anything up higher before I actually pull this. I don't want to run the motor with this sprocket not being held down because it likes to wander off the uh, crankshaft. So uh, I'm gonna clean up here, right there. I think that's all clean now. And you know, diagnosis is very important so that you don't start throwing crap at a car that it doesn't need and definitely don't wanna tear into this if I don't have to. Yes, so uh, I'm gonna put that back on for the third, fourth time, run it again and see if she's getting oil from up here, or if it just starts from here. I think it started from right here and started dripping down, and I think that that was residual. I hope it's not another leak. But up here, there's a pulley in the way, the tensioner pulley. Um, I don't think there's anything behind that up there, but uh, let's check this real quick. Here, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring you in a little. I know it's bad resolution, but we can live. Uh, put this back on for the freaking last time. Oh. <laughs> and before Matt asks, yes, I know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, Matt. Oh my gosh, I got a second camera angle. What are you doing? Yeah, well, and you're on uh, Periscope. What is that? It's uh, with Twitter. It's like uh, Facebook Live. You're taking a video of a guy making a video? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're live on and then I just told them that they could go watch on uh, yeah. YouTube.
Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Explain what you're doing to me. Alright, I'm gonna kill that. Hold on, I'll explain. Where's he going? Someone asked where you're going. All right, so what we got here is a 1995 Toyota Corolla. No, it's a, it's a, it's a 95 Camry with a 2.2 engine. And uh, what's going on for all, for all of you, for all of these guys wondering what's going on, this guy's got a camera and he's on another platform. So I don't know what we're doing, but anyway. We're confusing the internet. Let me explain it to the Periscope real quick. So what we got is a, two, a 1995 Toyota Camry with a 2.2 liter engine. Uh, the uh, mileage is racked up to the point where I needed to do a timing belt on it. I pulled the timing belt off and I was prepared to do the oil pan gasket because it has oil leaking from underneath the vehicle all over the cross member and the frame and the CV axle. <clears throat> when I tore it apart, I noted that the camshaft seal and the crankshaft seal were visually leaking oil. I replaced those seals, the timing belt, put everything back together, new water pump of course, put everything back together. She, the customer drove it for a couple of days and we noted that the oil was still leaking from underneath the vehicle. Uh, so now I'm investigating as to what is leaking and it turns out that it is the oil pump housing gasket. Not the oil pump housing gasket, there's two, there's two housings there. There's one main housing that's the whole size of the front of the engine that the crankshaft pulley goes through. The crankshaft comes through. Uh, and then on this model, there is a separate oil pump about yay big and it's leaking from that gasket. So what I'm going to do now is mark and remove the timing belt again and I'm going to remove the oil pump and I'm going to reseal the oil pump and visually inspect to make sure that nothing else is leaking and hopefully that'll resolve this oil leak that we're having. When are you pulling the doghouse? <sighs> I'm going to pull the trump card. <sighs> so what we did is we uh, I, the reason why I put this back on here is because I don't want the timing belt sprocket uh, to come flying off the crankshaft while it's operating. Uh, give me a second. Pull this pulley off. All right. uh, as you can see, it's leaking oil here, there, you know what? It's leaking oil from all these places that look like they have cracks. I think, I think we have a cracked front cover. Yep. I thought those were casting lines, but they're starting to look like cracks. This car is on crack. Alright. I'm gonna have to bring one of you guys in here. For a closer look. See, see that line right there in the background? And this guy right here. And that guy right there. That guy. And there's one down here. But it seems as if though it's leaking from there. there and there now again these could be I, I they don't look like casting marks but there's possible that they're just casting lines that are going in through behind the gasket here creating a uh, compressed area of the gasket and it's causing that to leak from these locations however from my perspective over here they're kind of starting to look like cracks so we could probably seal those I don't think they're under pressure and we might have a crankshaft or a, a, a positive crank ventilation system build up. We'll have to replace the PCV valve because we might just have some positive crank pressure going on here, enough to push this oil out. Because again, I don't think that's a high oil area, high pressure oil area, but I don't know because I think the oil pump uh, high pressure section is over here, pickup tube is down there, etc. So, well, 
have to pull that off and see if those are cracks, which they kind of look like. So I'm going to mark the timing belt and remove it. And then I'm gonna pull the bolts off of this oil pump here, which extend up behind this idler pulley up here, up this way. There's an idler pulley here that this pump housing goes behind. So I'm gonna pull those off and then we'll inspect this area here. And hopefully it's just this gasket is broken in numerous spots, but we'll see. Here we go. Let me get a pen. So, I usually don't set timing unless I'm really worried about it. Make some marks on the timing belt here. There's three there. I'll put crank on this side of the belt. Okay. Four marks on that oil pump. And I'll go up, mark the camshaft. So, bear with me, you get dizzy here. I should get two tripods. Get you, get you in here a little bit. Well, if I would have bought the van, I was going to buy a wooden bow. Huh? If I bought the van, I was going to buy a wooden bow a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was an old uh, broadcast company that had it. <laughs> it had like these desks inside, and I think it had a little satellite dish thing here or something on top. Oh, that'd be cool. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the belt tension. So I marked the camshaft here. I marked the crankshaft down there and I mark the oil pump. I don't think the oil pump matters. Uh, it might have a balancer on it. It's just a good idea to keep it where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna loosen up the belt tensioner pulley. It should give us enough to remove the belt and the cam junked. Put my finger. All right. Here if I set the belt off side, and this, I don't know if you guys can see it. And this guy right there. No, you can't see it. That guy right there, that, that pulley right there is interfering with the housing. Uh, there's probably a bolt behind it. I'm gonna remove that idler pulley. Um, oh, oh, yeah. What happened? Oh, I lost, uh, lost the key. That's all right. Oh, gosh, it's oh cool. that's the point I was going to make earlier. I, uh, I'm in no hurry. That's why I don't use... Yeah. I'm bleeding. Uh-oh. I'm in no hurry. Huh. I charge hourly. <laughs> Yeah, no. No, uh, the reason why I don't use power tools is I, I'm just, I'm not in a hurry. No, I mean. Oh, Nomadic uh, Mechanic says evening. Good evening. All right, so 
I think we're okay. It's just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. Let me uh, go super glue my wound and cry and I'll be right back. Okay, got some mechanic band-aid going on. There we go. We're good to go. I don't care, I just don't want my glove filling up, so. Filling up. Filling up with blood. With like a quart a day or something? Yeah, I lose about a quart a day. <laughs> All right, so I'm basically just gonna go ahead and take these bolts off of this oil pump. Start pulling these bolts off the oil pump from the top, and then we'll go back down below. And hopefully, I don't lose too much oil. I got a drain pan if needed. Now I'm gonna set these bolts right here. Hopefully, this gas gets compromised and those aren't cracks, but I don't know why they would be cracked. What does Whitney say? I don't know if anybody else has experienced one of these oil pumps leaking before. What happened? Nothing. I said, what is Whitney's head? Who's Whitney? Crack as well. Oh. Oh! Yes. It's delayed, so it really won't matter. The joke lost anything anyways. <laughs> Let me get you up here so you can see what I'm what I'm doing. I think it's there. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just not as not as impressive. Zoomed in, it just loses so much quality. Basically, now's a good time to go grab some coffee. I'm just pulling some bolts out of the soil pump. Not you, them. Great camera work. Right? Hey, it's the peanut gallery. I think that was part of your thing. It's my thing. Are that you one of the Are you oh. one of the four people? I was for a little bit ago. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's see what he's doing. We get pretty good. I usually don't mark it, but I will be marking it today. Right. But I think that's part of that. Oh, okay. I usually just cut the old ones with a knife. <laughs> I know you're probably right. I want to warranty this. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> what is it? There's just oh, a little screw that was in this thing. Yeah, that's fine. You know, he already has a, enough screws loose. Right. My, my screws are loose. It's okay if I have a couple of screws loose. It's the main ones that... I had 16 viewers. You did? You have more viewers? What, do you got a following? Yeah, I've been on Twitter for a long time. <laughs> no, but it, it, I titled it my mechanic working not on my car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, flathead screwdriver. I was going to say something like, my mechanic bad mounting Scotty Gilmer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dude, that would get views. Clickbait. <laughs> oh, no, I'll talk crap if you want me to. All right. Uh, we're pulling the oil. We're pulling the oil pump off. I You know, the fun thing about this is that this is actually connected with a pickup tube underneath. 
but I don't know if it's going to come out very far. It's leaking a lot though. I'm wondering if I can reseal it without taking it off. Got a, the pickup tube is going to be attached to this. It's going to be a nightmare to get off. I'm going to have to take the pan down anyway. And we look at it. It's going to be ugly. So it looks like we're removing this whole front cover. Probably can't see what I'm doing from up here. Alright, I better luck doing it this way. So I just learned that I need another tripod. I can just set this tripod up on the engine bay. Okay, so. One thing you forget is that that pickup tube is connected to this whole thing, but this won't come out separate. I'm missing a bolt behind it or something. I don't think so. Well, you know, it could be pinned in. Let me uh, try harder. Okay. Oh, hey. right. Progress. So, that's what I was thinking. All right. I really didn't want to take this oil pan off anyway. Let's resolve that real quick and then we'll get back on to what we were doing here. Um, it looks like that pump cover there is interfering with the pulley on the pump. So I'm going to have to. hold that in place and break that pulley loose. Let me fix this real quick and get back on with it. Yep. So tight. Right. Uh, I believe that's a 12 mil. You had a coffee right there. What? That's cold, don't cold coffee. You expect me to drink coffee? cold coffee? What? You want a coffee, really? No. I can go get one. No. Test out my new brakes. Not a 12. Test out your new brakes? You know what's funny is that actually, uh, you know how I was, when I was turning, I'd get that like spider? What the hell is it, an 11? You know the spider right here kind of dip, 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 dip. That's kind of gone away, and I think it's because of that front end. Which is awesome. No, 
probably a 12. I probably just had a 13 mil socket. That's a, that's a 12. That's an 11 that don't work. So, I'm actually operating with a 13 mil socket. Okay. Now, let's see how hard this is to remove. I'm gonna try. I guess I'm done. Don't have to remove that pulley. Thought it was hanging up. I'm being I'm trying to be really cautious here and not break something. So watch springs go flying into the oil pan in a minute. Something's gonna screw up, right? Well. Alright, that's not bad. Okay, so this gasket's shot though. Let's see. Part of the gasket's just already stuck to the block, and it's just breaking. So it's hard as a rock here. So let's go ahead and condemn the gasket, clean the surface off here, and um, I'll try to source a gasket, but uh, that's not looking very likely. So I'll get you up inside here. Uh, what we're looking at. But I'm still worried. Does those look like cracks to you? They look like cracks to me. So I'm going to silicone over them. That's not what you're supposed to do, but it could work. It's a 95 Toyota. So um, replacing that cover for a hundred and something dollars. A lot, of, a lot of money for a cover. Uh, if it still leaks, I will replace it. Uh, not this time. So let's clean her up and see if I can get a gasket for it, reseal it, and move on. So I'll leave you here for a moment so you can look at this. And uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go see if they got a gasket for it. And I'll clean that other one up. Sneak in here. Looks like a crack. They really look like cracks. I'm gonna paint them and see. See, because that one right there, that looks like a casting. That's just a casting there. Yeah, that one's casting. Still look like casting marks to me. Let's gasket out of there. Kind of difficult to work on things with a camera in the way, but we'll manage. This, this oil. I have to let that oil finish spraying out. What's going on there? Decided it wanted to start leaking. Draining down from the engine now, huh? Uh, we'll let that finish draining out because it wasn't doing that a minute ago. All right, well, I'm gonna let that drain out. I'm gonna go look and see if they have a gasket real quick. So bear with me, five minute interval here, inter inter intermission, I'll be back. No way. After these messages, we'll be right back. No way what? Trump's gonna be digitally removed from home alone. <laughs> I mean, seriously, people get a grip. Well, they had a contract that they could use that hotel if he was in it. If he was in it, so I don't see how they could surpass that. That was an old contract. What the hell?
that doesn't have... He'll win if he has a contract at the States. Are they going to remove him from the You're Fired show? Who knows? I don't make it. Okay, I am back and I have an update. Regardless of what that thing's doing, this guy uh, needs a gasket. And uh, they don't have one at this store. I didn't foresee that this would need a gasket. Uh, and when I looked at it, it comes as part of this whole entire assembly. Um, they don't sell this oil pump separately. They do, however, sell this gasket separately. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna shut this camera down. So I'm gonna shut this thing down and it's gonna take me, oh, that's a bad contrast. It's gonna take me about um, half an hour to an hour to run to the other store. 
and get the gasket. And I'll go ahead and put it back together. Um, probably put it back together before I come back on live. So this will be a two-part video uh, to confirm that we got this thing uh, buttoned up. But thanks for watching, and I will be back uh, with part two in about